Welcome to Savvy Sessions number 16 with Joy and Joe. Now in this video we're going to be answering the question from Karen Kay which is tell me what VAs mainly do. Yeah, so it all depends which type of VA you get, whether um, mm. you're getting a VA who is specialised in an area. However, in general and at what we do at Strictly Savvy, there's a whole range of tasks that a virtual assistant might do. Uh, Mainly inbox management and zero bookkeeping are two of the main things that most clients who come to us are needing and ask for. Mm. So we, in terms of managing an inbox, it might be that they manage your inbox or you might have an info or inquiries inbox or something like that. And so they would actually manage that. They would log into it online and they would deal with those emails or they would um, sift through them for you and filter them. So they might, then you might get emails such as, um, you know, you might be speaking in an event in a couple of weeks and you need to provide um, a headshot to the organizers. So they might email you asking mm. for that. That's something that's super easy for your VA to take over. So they go into your files, grab your headshot out and they respond and deal with that email and you don't even need to see it. So it's those types of things that are really easy for virtual assistants to be able to action in your inbox. Uh, and then they might um, have a system set up with you where they filter emails into a folder that you only you can deal with and then you just go into that folder and deal with those. So inbox management is yeah. definitely a main um, service that VAs provide. Diary, and then, yeah, diary management. And diary too, yeah, so yeah. that goes with that. Um, there might be people who are sending in um, calendar appointments for you and they could manage your calendar um, they could go back if a time doesn't suit or often people will email saying hey can we catch up on whatever um, or arrange a meeting and so that VA can liaise with them and get people booked into your calendar. Yeah so I guess generally you're just thinking of them as being your executive assistant mm -hmm. that might be in the office so anything um, administrative that you get stuck doing and don't want to do, that's what you pass on to your uh, virtual assistant. Um, and also extends to things like bookkeeping, so uh, a lot of the day-to-day -day kind of reconciling, getting mm. receipts into zero, things yeah, like that. Following but you up to your receipts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting hassling you. Zero. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, and you, they could even manage the accounts inbox, so you might have a, an inbox set up or it might be in your own inbox mm. where you're getting invoices sent to you and then they can be putting them into zero um, and getting them processed through. So yeah, yeah. that's pretty much the main, main things. things. <laughs> um, with Strictly Savvy we also have a creative team, so one of the other um, services that is uh, often requested is uh, document formatting. So taking a document or um, you might have like a lead magnet downloadable on your website or um, an ebook or um, flyers or anything that you need to create and make it look really good. Or if you have something and you want to take it to that next level, make it look really professional, that's quite often one of the services that um, is requested from clients. Yeah. So, yeah. Mainly anything that you don't have to do and someone else can do with a bit of guidance or a, um, showing what to do or a bit of direction, then that is what a VA mainly does. To free you up so that you are focusing on revenue generating activities, growing your business, becoming successful, or whatever that looks like for you. So that's Savvy Sessions number 16 with Joy and Joe. See you next time.